We're here with Andre Thurman, wide receiver of the Philadelphia Soul. And uh, Andre, before we get started on our little uh, on our little run, uh, just kind of talk about your career. Like we were talking earlier, you played for a lot of different teams, a lot of different leagues. Can I just kind of start from after college and Whoa. just go over your career? Uh, I started off, uh, I was at uh, Houston in training camp. I was released in Houston. I went to Green Bay uh, initially with their practice squad. I uh, made the active roster the last few games my rookie year. I uh, ended up playing my second year with Green Bay as well, so I had two credited season in the NFL. After that season was over, I was released, went to Canada in 06. Had a great time in Winnipeg. Uh, uh, then I went to uh, Arena Football in 07, 08. I played with Clinton Dallas. And uh, we had a fortunately hard strike. Uh, we had a, a, a league fold in 08 with Arena Football. Uh, it was crazy, and then the UFL popped up. I went from the UFL from 09 to 2012. Played four years with the Las Vegas Locomotives, had two championships. And uh, decided to come back to Arena Football this year, or last year. Uh, so I played 2012, and this is 2013 in Arena Football. Can I just talk about, you know, you, get, you got to catch passes from all types of quarterbacks. Uh, you know, who was your favorite one to, to, catch, to catch balls from? Man, it, it's, it's really hard to pinpoint one. I can go on and list the names of the, some of the quarterbacks I had. I mean, I've got from Brett Favre, I've got from Boston, Aaron Rodgers, Steve McNair, uh, Clint Dozell, uh, <laughs> Russ McNair, who's out in San Jose. Uh, Dan's a great one. Uh, J.P. Lossman, Tim Tay. I mean, I've had some good quarterbacks over, over my years, and they're all the same. I mean, as far as, as the competitive nature, uh, every good quarterback I've had, Dan's got that same one. He's actually the youngest quarterback I've played with, but he has that same pizzazz. He's got that same gun, and he's ready to win. But uh, I, I've been fortunate enough to play with some really good quarterbacks. Can you kind of just talk about, um, you know, was there any adjustments going from the NFL, um, going to the NFL to, you know, the CFL? Um, was there kind of an adjustment? Was it kind of like, you know, I should be playing in the NFL? Like, what, what was it like for you to kind of go towards from, from one league to the other? Yeah, it's an adjustment. Uh, now, I think the biggest thing, man, is you have to humble yourself. I mean, a lot of guys in, in the NFL, guys, it's all about opportunity. Some guys get opportunity, some guys don't. There's guys in the CFL and the AFL and the UFL who are just as good as guys in the NFL. They just might not have that opportunity. Uh, so I've never underestimated any opponent that I've ever played against. I've always felt like, you know, I got to make the team first uh, and work hard. And that's kind of the mindset that I've, I've developed through the years. Some of the guys that I've, Donald Driver, Milk Steagall, some of those guys are guys that I attribute that to. But I've always been a guy who I tend to I say, I, you know, work hard. That's the key. Work hard. Stay healthy and work hard. And then uh, for our little run, what we're going to do is Andre being a former NFL wide receiver, CFL guy, I'm going to attempt to race you. Let's do it. And uh, let's see how bad this goes. Let's do it. Let's do it. 